the essence of photojournalism, I mean, is to bear witness, is to bring light into the dark, or to bring people that are in the shadow into the light. Apartheid South Africa is in Belfast, and wars in Israel, I mean, this is, you're photographing history as it unfolds. A lot of these photographs are still with me in every cell and pore of my body. A lot of people ask how it's very difficult to do what it is that I do and standing in front of the people and making the photographs. And the most important thing is that it's not about me. It's about the people that I'm photographing. A lot of my strength is drawn from them. They lead lives of tremendous dignity in the face of such suffering, such tragedy, and such loss. Something that I could, I could never do myself. I think my life is, I couldn't endure. I mean, the gentleman in 1991, after the coup in Haiti, um, it was a mumps epidemic that went through this small village, a place called Berry, to lose three children in two weeks. And then for that man, through my interpreter, I knew with the inflection of his voice, the tone of his voice had changed. And he just said, um, please, please tell the world we are the ones who are suffering. And so, and that really puts a fire inside of me. And that's some of the really key points in the beginning stages of my career that really set the direction and the responsibility for what it is that I have as a photographer to do with the work. Sometimes it's not about changing those people there, it's about changing people here. And once we come back with those images, that's what's important, is where you can affect change here. Because I can't change the people in my photographs, I can't necessarily help them. I mean, it's my job, really, my responsibility is to be able to bring those images back and to be able to do more with them than just put them into a magazine for a week or for a month. I'm hoping to you know, affect social change or at least create awareness. A gentleman talking to me the day after he came to one of my exhibitions. I said, I just wanted to let you know that I went home and I, I woke up both my children who were asleep and I held them and I told them how much I loved them and how much they meant to me. They're just simple gestures sometimes. Sometimes they're enormous gestures. It's at a, um, a private reception for 25 people for donors. And the book was, was given out to the 25 people who were there. One of the people was, was, was so moved they, they wrote a check for a million dollars to International Medical Corps. I do feel that I have to make a difference, that's why I'm there. When I take my last breath on this earth, I want to know that I've made a difference in the lives of others. Mm -hmm.